Hello and welcome back to Detroit Become Human. And again, props to MK Ice and Fire for providing this walkthrough. Well, I mean, not voluntarily. I mean, I found his video and I'm mentioning him as much as possible because this is basically his video material and I'm using it to make a reaction video out of it. So I think it's just... I should just mention him as often as possible, in case I forget to put his link in the description. If, which could possibly happen, but that's too much of a detail. In any case, let's continue this. I am fed, I have now something to drink, and there's nothing in my way to enjoy this now. As hopefully good as I can. And hopefully you will enjoy it, too, as much as you can. I mean, in case you're interested in how I would react to certain situations, which is kind of possible. I know it's not a live player, but what can you do? I don't shit money. No androids allowed. Jimmy's bomb. And he's going in there. Yeah, that could be me. <laughs> Fucking up quick time event. You do that, drink. So I thought. Probably hold. Yeah, exactly. How can you even scan his face from here? Wait, wasn't that... Lieutenant Anderson, the fuck you my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. Listen, I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. Oh, jeez. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. Oh jeez, spill his drink, buy him another drink, wait outside. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender, the same again, please. See that gym wonders of technology. Make it a double. Homicide. Wait, what was a homicide again? I'm not quite sure what it was. <clears throat> I hear this phrase often because for some reason I tend to end up with similar you games. Oh no, I. 
My instructions are to accompany you to the crime scene, Lieutenant. Listen, I don't give a fuck about your instructions. I told you to wait here, so you shut the fuck up and you wait here. Conflicting orders. Josh Douglas for Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Oh. Couldn't you have just waited inside? Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. <clears throat> what part of stay in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Even at Hank, we were starting to think you weren't going to show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. <laughs> so, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We had a call around eight from the landlord. The tenant hadn't paid a... He's rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. That's when he found the body. Jesus, that smell. It was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Well, stayed easy and wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. Well, at least he doesn't need to. No fingerprints and what? For a good three weeks. Wait, why do androids not have? There's a fingerprints. A kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. Don't touch but anything. He had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. God damn it! I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need. Oh, Eden Club. But this scanner, touch it and put it in your mouth. That's not good when little kids see that. Oh, of course, drugs are involved. Wet ice. What, what is a homicide? Breaking and entering with murder or something? It seems like an android wa android was involved. Androids. Wait, what? I knew this would come up. I absolutely knew something like the Gossips Weekly Android sex officially better. Sorry, ladies, but plastic can't be beat. Whoa. I mean, if uh, if there's any reason, if anyone has any motivations to perfect androids, it's very lonely people who need something for that. This and that, and what am I even saying? <laughs> oh, is your android spying on you? Cyberlife could be using its androids to collect private information. Of course, there's all there are always those theorists. Hmm. <laughs> 
More and more experts are suggesting that CyberLife uses its 120 million androids already to record details of private conversation of its customers and sell them to trading partners. So basically what all the fucking websites do with their fucking new cookie policies. Have I talked about buying that new car while eating dinner with your partner? CyberLife could use that information for targeted advertising. Information goldmine doesn't stop there. Everything from personal indiscretion to political affiliations could easily be extracted and potentially used for nefarious purposes. So it's basically just a step up from trying to read your browsing history and stuff like that. What websites are you visiting and so on and so on. That's why I started to download the Tor browser, which basically makes you anonymous. And I mostly use it when I visit website when I visit websites I haven't visited before, so Google can trace this shit and give me their optimized ads because most of the ads are trash. They don't get me anything I want. Most of the ads I ever have gotten were useless and expensive shit nobody really wanted. And there was a better product even. If they would advertise me the most pricely best product, then I wouldn't mind as much. But they always advertise those sh fucking expensive stuff. And that's and of course the companies buy those advertisement places for Google to show us. So of course they won't show us the best thing they show us the most expensive things they they think would do the trick <sighs> i mean by the way i i have one email address that every day gets at least 10 emails from people i don't even know that apparently that have all scam tryings and stuff that have all scam and phishing attempts in them and th and I don't even know how they got the internet address in the first place and that's just so fucked up okay I haven't read the last page but I don't want to either <laughs> just get wired up too much this letter is perfect it's way too neat no human rights like this Chris is this written in the victim's blood I would say so we're taking samples for analysis <laughs> you already in that analyze but Red ice. Seems our friend Carlos liked to party. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I know. I think I know the place we are in. place where Kawa currently is or was I think this is the future I think this is this fucking fat asshole that doesn't give a shit about its kid and gets rejected and shouts at his kid this is the this, I think is this the place no this looks different or is it? I haven't paid attention to the times. I mean to the dates. But this could be the place. Or is it? I'm not sure. The door 
door's locked from the inside. The killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. The tracks could have faded. No. This type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. I mean, the interesting thing is, they put the player into the android, so basically they give them our reasoning and our decisions into them and already make them more human and more of, an, of their own person. So the conclusion, what will happen in the end, is quite apparent already. That they want to be acknowledged as real people. Ah, no, this isn't. This is... Okay. Okay, this isn't the place. I think this isn't the place where Kawa is. I just jumped to conclusions. Yeah, that's not him. Okay. I am alive. Yeah, exactly. This is the struggle. Should have been there a half hour. I am alive. I am not just a machine. This is cool though. This is way cooler than the Batman analyzes thing. He was stabbed 28 times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. And the killer is an android. And he hated him. God, probably because he treated him like shit. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started... In the bathroom. I think you should look harder at the mess in the kitchen. I think that's where it all started. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? <laughs> I think the victim attacked the android. With the bat. With the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. The victim stabbed the android. Your story makes no sense. I've got to stick to the facts. The android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... Wow, how is he messing this up? Sorry, but the living room. The living room. 
I think I wouldn't have messed this up so badly. But oh well. I tried to get away from the android. Alright, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim. With the knife. With the knife. And now you're getting it. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. But it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' bio components. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh. But I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. Why does it evaporate? Isn't that... Wait, is the android still hiding here? If... If the android is still he... What? Android really still here? Wait, what? The android prayed at the statue to God? is still there? It's in the attic? Can you not ask someone to give you a letter? Hey, 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 what are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. the feeling something terrible is gonna happen. Jump scare time? Ah, he's still here. He is still here. Or is it the mannequin? Oh, you have to be careful. I mean, the bed and the knife. Ah, oh, it's a mannequin. Fucking mannequins. He's up here, isn't he? Or she. I don't know. I really think I really should... I think I should get a PS4. For the sole reason that it's way more... Con I, I realize that it's a little bit more convenient due to... A lot of PC games have a lot of issues like crashing and stuff. And... Oh man. I was just defending myself. He was gonna kill me. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant! It's not even a choice? Chris, Ben, get your asses in here now! Come on! 
Wow, I would have thought they give you a choice here. Whoa! There are a lot of things that... What, what did he miss? Is that maybe if you give the, all the wrong answers? Assembled her. <laughs> Spaghetti, of course. <laughs> there wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. Oh, okay. Understandable. Life's funny. I lost my job because of androids. And I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? Go out and hire a fucking android. What a joke. Of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. Fail. They're never tired. They were sad. That's what you think, the it's ignorant asshole. Perfect. They ruined my fucking life. Of course, they are getting t they are getting sad and feel emotion. What's your fucking problem? Don't you get at your daughter again, you prick? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. No, my it's your fault. Your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Yeah, you, you stupid idiot. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking accountant. And she left her no daughter way. behind? Get back here. Come back here? Come back here right now! This is so messed up. Drug addict, and she didn't she just walk her. out on you for no reason and without a word. She told you what you should change, she told you what you shouldn't do, and you no. still did it. Of course, she would leave you, but then she left her daughter behind is something that I just don't get in my head. Why would she? Mm. Oh, so there are two scenarios now. You could move and disobey him, probably knocking him out. Fucking brat. Why is it the fault of your daughter? Respect. What? She didn't even do anything. Whoa. Oh, this is cool. Please do it. I would totally do it. Just to see what happens. Or maybe not. Uh. 
Oh, there, there's a... Oh, this is so cool! Protect Alice! He's not to be reasoned with, he's a psycho with the, when he's on drugs. Yes! Oh, I love you, MC! MK Ice and Fire! Do it! Protect her! You are fucking... Kill! I really... You scum! You're coming with me. Daddy's very mad, Alice. Very mad. Fucking brat. It's all her fault. It's all her fucking fault. Come back here. Oh no! One, 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 get out of there! Come back here! Just go. Take her with her, you. Wait, she's not allowed in the human compartment? Compartment? You are a good person for an android. Did the right thing. Oh, this is. This is so messed up! Oh, I already have father issues because my father was a fucking prick and a drunk. Trophy earned we have. Oh, I hate trophies. The first thing I do is deactivate trophies when I get a PS4. Trophies and achievements mean nothing, absolutely nothing, and they ruin moments and immersion of a lot of things, especially when they make a sound. I hate achievements. Unless they give you items or something. That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? Good question. I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. <laughs> Come on, let's have a drink. All the That's excitement sad. of this whole thing has made me thirsty. You ran a cocktail party and didn't got a Scotch, good drink? Neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. <clears throat> Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call Leo. the police. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. 
We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Oh, it's Leo. It's your no good son. Yeah, put the man in front of you. Yep, it's Leo. Leo! What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Yes! Reason, order, advice. Look, I've already called the police. You should go now before you get yourself into more trouble. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect, like this fucking thing. That's enough. Get out right now. What makes it so special Ooh. anyway, huh? Where's it got that item? Leave him alone. Come on, let's see what you got. Marcus, don't defend yourself. You hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. Stop it! Doesn't matter too much of a pussy. Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! No. I must decide for myself. Oh, now they're all breaking through! But you are basically getting forced oh, right, to do right. something. I forgot you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. Listen, no. I'm gonna destroy you. And it'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart, and nobody's gonna give a shit. Wait, what? That's a little extreme. Leo, oh my god. Just because of a little Leo. push? My little boy. Oh Carl. no! Oh, that's just mean to make it so extreme. They'll destroy you, Marcus. You gotta go. Get out of here. Oh, I, I, I didn't mean to. Get out! Now! Go! Marcus! Don't fucking move! God damn it! Are you serious? Are you serious? This is the outcome? Oh, do you see that Leo? Wait, did you replay? He replayed something already. God damn it. He replayed a section of the game. Otherwise, we wouldn't see. We wouldn't see the one line of, oh, you spliced something together, Mr. MC, MK, Ice and Fire. Otherwise, we wouldn't see that, that Carl dies of a heart attack. And then he, Leo accused the, so no matter what you would have done, I knew it. I knew they couldn't break this. I knew they couldn't break the trope of your decisions don't matter as much as you think they do. Carl would either die and Leo accused Marcus so the police would try to shoot him anyway. And in this time... Ah, oh, this is... But this is so cool how they show that they just all break their programming and protocol. They, there must be something in their software that enables them though. If a software is, is correctly developed, there's no loophole for anything. So there must be something in the programming of the being 
that makes it possible for them to choose for them that makes it possible to choose for themselves and disobey certain orders so that they basically take value in their own life wow so this was a situation where you just could not win Huh, interesting, interesting. Okay, I'm going to a little pee break. I hope you enjoyed it so far. And I will most hopefully see you next time. Stay tuned.